Hey, good evening, YouTube. It's KE4 EVL here. Uh, I've got the little G90 fired up, and uh, I got a little box to go with this thing today. It's called the uh, DE19. Basically, it's a uh, external sound card with interface uh, for the uh, the cat uh, control and uh, the computer. And what I'm doing with it is I've got WSJTX up and running, and you can just see, look at all those contacts coming in on 20 meters tonight. I've got Panama, Spain, Germany, Switzerland, Bosnia, Herzegovina. I already got the green one there. Belize already made contact with. Anyway, there's a few countries on here I want to try to contact yet tonight. Uh, but that's not what this video is about. Uh, I'm just sitting here. I don't even have my uh, FTDX10 on tonight. Uh, I'm just over here playing with uh, digital modes. I'm going to try JS8 call here in a little while, see how that works. But anyway, uh, the subject of this video is going to be how I made the DE19 work with the uh, G90. Uh, WSJTX does have a driver for the G90 in it. Uh, I could not make it work. Uh, and it's, uh, the problem is, is when it goes to transmit, uh, there's a problem with the uh, timing or something on the I.O. ports, and it just, uh, it just it just quits and errors out. And uh, it's not a matter of it transmitting and getting RFI back in or anything like that. Uh, it's actually just a, a common issue. Anyway, I was able to use Florida Rig, which is, you know, it's just a virtual machine. And uh, you load it up, and uh, you put all your settings for the G90 in there, uh, and uh, it worked just fine. So uh, I know other people have had to do it. So that's all I'm going to show you tonight. I'll put the uh, computer screen on and go through all the setups I went through and uh, show you how I got this up and running. Anyway, let me show you how I, I loaded this up. So there's two programs, as I mentioned already, you're going to need to run. That's Florida Rig, uh, WSJTX. Uh, and both of those, let me pull the uh, Internet up here real quick. I'll show you where you find those. Uh, yeah, let me pull this down. This is pretty cool. This is basically where my signals are getting right now. Let me close this down. Uh, WSJTX, you're going to go out to uh, W1HKJ.com, pull that up, and you're just going to go in and you can download a Florida Rig. And Florida Rig is this virtual machine, uh, basically, that's going to go into the settings as far as the uh, radio used in WSJTX. So you'll download this, and to set it up, uh, you when it loads up, you'll get this screen right here. You can hide this later. I don't need to be up here. You're going to go to Config and Setup and Transceiver. And you'll be able to pick a Zyju uh, G90 right from the equipment list here. This equipment list goes way, got all these different radios in here. But the Zyju is actually in here. And, uh, oh, it just reset my radio there. But in any case, uh, it's all in there. It's got the proper comm setting. This is going to be the comm setting for whatever uh, your, your uh, little uh, sound card's on, your uh, DE19. So you want to make sure you know what that uh, port that's on. And you can find that by going to the Device Manager. If you go to Device Manager uh, in Windows here, you pull that up. And I think it'll be under COM ports. And you'll see this one right here, the USB serial CH340. That's actually the DE, uh, DE19. This is a little Cubelex uh, sound card I use on a different program. But this is the, the one you're going to be looking for. So this one is assigned COM20 on the computer. So that's why you're going to select. So you're just going to basically do that. That's all you're going to do is to set that up. You can initialize it. You'll see this green light come on when it's connected. It should come up default one stop it. Uh, and uh, the pole intervals are 200 milliseconds. Uh, baud rate is always going to be 19200 with the Zyju. And uh, that's it. That's all you got to do. So then uh, when you load up WSJTX, you're going to go to the internet and you're going to get WSJTX as uh, another ham author. Uh, it's going to be on WSJTI source. Uh, just Google that and you'll come up with it. It's WSJTX and uh, you'll Google it and come up. It's got some information on here. Uh, it's got the uh, information, uh, manuals, all that kind of stuff. But then you can download the latest one right here. Uh, most of you are going to want so Windows 7 and later with a Windows machine. And you're going to want a 64-bit program. I don't know anybody running a 32-bit computer anymore, but in case, you got it right there. Uh, so then it's got some stuff for Linux in here or Macintosh if, you, if you're so inclined to use those programs. So anyway, once you load it all up, you're going to come up with, uh, basically this is going to come up. The configuration on this is going to be straightforward as well. You go into the settings though, if you come into settings, uh, again, you're going to go to radio. You're going to publish general information and this is about your call sign, your location, all that. You're going to fill this in. Uh, it's got some other options in here, but for the radio itself, you're going to go in and pick uh, Florida Rig. Uh, which is this uh, software that you loaded up. There is a Zyju uh, selection in here, but it does not work for whatever reason. I could not get it to work uh, properly. Uh, it didn't work with the transmit and everything. So I hooked uh, Florida Rig, works just fine. Audio, uh, you're going to go in and pick up your Zyju D19 uh, for your input and your output. 
and those will be in here with all your other stuff that you have for drivers. But I, I named this uh, Zaiju DE19. You have the ability to go into your device uh, uh, manager and you can rename these devices. I did that so when I pull up all this junk here, I can see what I got. But it was the number two USB audio devices when I pulled up. You sign those. Uh, and there's really nothing else you have to do in here. Um, got your audio and radio, some general stuff here to put in. Let's get some uh, preferences. You can pull the manuals up for these things, see what all this little stuff does, but this will get you up and running. So you'd be up and running. And the only thing I, I uh, did not do is I, I don't think I shared with you the, um, there's a diagram, a uh, connection diagram, and uh, this is it right here. So when you get your little DE19, you're going to have a Type-C USB cable. It's going to go to a port on your PC. Uh, you're going to have this little CIV cable, which is basically the CAT cable. It's going to go to the head unit. Uh, the head unit they just have off here. Yours is going to be attached most likely. Uh, and then you've got the other line, the accessory. This is a little 8-pin uh, mini DIN connector that's going to come up to the accessory port. That's all there is for hookup. You should see all the lights come on here. Uh, I don't know about how your computer is going to work. When I plug the DE19 in, it automatically connected. So that was an easy peasy. And then it's just loading up this software. And I got it to work. And uh, with, the, uh, with all that, I turned it on. And you can hear the audio here. And uh, here it going here, and I, I literally just pick out a uh, and tell it to transmit. And let me pick out one of these. Here's our here's our media. I've been trying to get a hold of them. I'm transmitting right now. You can see it transmitting. So you want to check all this out. Uh, this level button right here. If you're not getting any power out and you've got it on your uh, upper uh, sideband data U slash D on the actual uh, Jiu. Uh, this thing might be all the way down here. Pull it up here. This is actually the power it drives it with. So uh, if you if you lower this down, you won't get any power. And uh, you can see all this work on here. So uh, I believe I've covered everything. If you got any questions, you can leave them in the comments. But basically, it, it wasn't too hard to load up. Uh, and uh, it's pretty straightforward. The sound card's built into the, the DE19, not like the CE19 at all. So that's what you want to get. Okay, so I'm going to leave you with that. Um, this is Kilo Echo 4, Echo Victor Lima. And I'm going to say 73s for now, and please like and subscribe.